Okay, so in this video I just want to discuss the concept quickly of, uh, I just firstly want to make a f formal video on the Bernoulli, on the Bernoulli distribution, and secondly I want to uh, discuss the concept of an indicator random variable. Okay, so uh, if you have an abstract probability space uh, P, uh, an abstract probability space um, which is a sample space uh, with a set of events and a probability measure P, uh, then we know that um, we can uh, we can set up a mapping, uh, we can set up random variables on here. And the concept of an indicator random variable is basically take any event you want, uh, which is going to be E, and that has some probability. So here is probability of E. So uh, it's an event. So E is an element of uh, the set of all events. And uh, therefore, we can take its probability because the probability is a function mapping uh, the set of all events uh, onto uh, the interval 0 to 1. OK, uh, so uh, then we have this set E complement, which is everything that's not in E. and we know that E complement is also an element of the events, uh, which makes sense. If E is an event, then E complement is just the event that E does not happen. Uh, so intuitively, it makes sense that that should be an event. And we know that the probability of E complement is equal to 1 minus the probability of E. And that just follows from axiom 2 of, um, of, prob of probability spaces because E and E complement are disjoint sets, uh, so their union makes the whole space, which should have a probability equal to 1. So the probability of X is equal to the probability of E complement plus the probability of E, but we can replace the probability of X with 1, and then just move the probability of E to the other side. OK, uh, so we have this result here. Um, so what we can do is we can map, we can set up a random variable mapping this onto the Bernoulli uh, probability space uh, 0, 1, and this is the concept of an indicator random variable, and it's given this beautiful symbol chi of E, which is the indicator random variable for E. So it basically just sets, it just sends the event E to the um, outcome 1, and it sends the event E complement to 0. Um, and um, and obviously on here, if we're going to make this a uh, probability space sort of homomorphism, then uh, the probability of 1 needs to be equal to the probability of E, and the probability of 0 needs to be the probability of E complement, uh, which is 1 minus probability of E. OK, uh, so that's the simple concept of a of a uh, indicator random variable. It's uh, basically a random variable that always maps um, it always maps your probability space onto a uh, Bernoulli probability space, uh, and we don't know yet what the probability is. This is the Bernoulli space probability of E, um, and uh, that's it pretty much. <laughs>